Welcome to the Mitchum History Notes YouTube channel. I've turned on memberships for this channel and this video is an explainer. I'm going to explain why. So let's get started. A few months ago, a fellow in, in my local pub said that he quite enjoyed watching my videos, which was quite appreciated by myself. He said, hey, why don't you do something about Howard's, the builders? And the reason he said this, he'd seen them on one of those Scotland Yard programs that's on the Talking Pictures channel. And I said, yeah, as it happens, I've got some notes on them. I will. And I haven't. And every time I go in the local and I see him, I won't mention his name, but you know who you are, Dean. Every time I see him, I think, oh, God, I haven't done that. I should really get around to doing that. But of course, taking hints and instructions and suggestions in a pub environment is probably not conducive to short-term memory. So that's my excuse. Also, recently, when I did a video about the Eastfields level crossing being so narrow for so long, one of the viewers said, what about those cottages on the side there? They got demolished. Why was that? Why don't you do a video about that? So I did. And that was very interesting. And that turned out to be to do with the, the M23 blight. Even though the cottages were eventually demolished after the M23 extension was cancelled. And as it happens, a councillor chatted to me privately. So I won't mention his name, really. And he said that the council had actually considered the possibility of a bridge replacing the level crossing. That would have been quite something, wouldn't it? That also uh, meant that those houses had to be demolished. Anyway, what I'm leading to is the reason I've turned on the memberships is I think the main use for a membership on this channel would be to lodge suggestions and put forward ideas for new videos. And then it would be more of a formal approach and I'd be able to keep track of it. The other advantages of uh, being a member is that uh, there are badges that are assigned to your username when you make comments so that if there's a big flurry of comments which to be honest I, I was quite surprised to see but on the and there were quite a few on the slang for British old money it, basically a member would would stand out in that comment stream but but also but also I can search through the comment list and filter by members in order to respond to members' comments first. So in other words, one of the advantages of being a member, a perk as YouTube refers to it, I will respond to them first before the non-members. Now, unfortunately, the, there is a cost involved to this membership thing. And initially I thought, I wonder if there's a way of not having a cost, making it free. But I think the advantage of it having some kind of a cost is to prevent certain persons getting up to no good. There's always the possibility that someone will say, oh, I'll suggest him something that he won't be able to do, but it will keep him busy for a couple of months. And I'm assuming a person would, wouldn't do that if they had to pay for a membership program. So the amount I've set for the membership program level, and there's only one level really, and that's the suggested video level, is two pounds ninety nine, uh, which is under one penny under three pounds, which 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 is actually less than a pint of beer uh, these days, even in my local. And having said that, I mean that fellow who asked me in the local to do that video, he, he didn't buy me a beer, so so perhaps this this will be a way of uh, getting around it. He he would he might he, he probably won't go for the membership idea. He'll probably continue to harass me in the pub. So if he wants to become a member, press that join button. And there's always the option of unjoining, leaving the membership whenever you wish. But let's see how it goes. Thank you for watching. Oh, before I go, the photograph I've used as the backdrop to this announcement is a photograph from the Eric Montague collection of the Fair Green, obviously. There's the clock tower in its original situation. And the only buildings that are still there today are the Lloyds Bank and that row there that's uh, currently in that photograph has got Andrews and Partners, Lewis Tobacconist and Gaydon's menswear. And also on the right hand side you can slightly see a part of the public toilets, which is now a, a cafe. Taggy Lees. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye for now.